and Clara. Let's see two welding tasks first. What can we get from the test? First one is showing the silver white color, and the second one displays a little yellow. It's the same machine, same parameter sighting, same gas, same material, and even same person. Why does it show color difference? That's the one we're going to talk today, the angle of auxiliary gas in fab laser welding. It includes the automatic and handheld models. Before we get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. It really helps me out. Thank you for your support. The process of fiber laser welding machine applies a high MD laser beam as a heat source to irradiate the surface of the workpiece so that the workpiece is melted and connected to achieve excellent welded joints. Meanwhile, the high temperature is accompanied by the vaporization of the mantle, and a mantle vapor plasma is formed. That formed mantle vapor will absorb, effract, and reflect the laser, which will weaken the energy that actually reached the surface of the workpiece and so that affect the stability of the welding effect. Therefore, it's necessary to blow a gas, an argon or nitrogen, with a large ionization energy to surprise the generation of the plasma. At the same time, the gas also has the function of isolating the air during the welding process so that the molten pool is not oxidized. It can also reduce the welding spatter and make the welding surface even and smoother. Now let's try to discuss the color difference of the tasks at the video beginning. The only difference between the two tasks are the welding positions. The first one is at the corners of two plates. The angle can be prevent gas spreading and leave more gas at the place. So the color gas is silvery. The second area is kind of open, not covered around. So the color gas a little. It's related to the topic we'll talk today. That's the effect of different blowing angles of gas on the workpiece. The following experiment is from GPT laser. If you are looking for more information on GPT lasers, please click the website in the description below. The test results will be showing pictures. Other variables of the air blow are kept the same. The gas blow rate is 5, only the blowing angle is changed from 0 to 75. From the picture, it shows the welding penetration depths and the gas blow angle changes. It can be seen from the experimental data that the weld penetration first increases and then decreases with the increase of the blowing angle. When the blowing angle is zero or greater than 45, the penetration depth decreases rapidly. When the blowing angle is 30, the weld penetration reaches the maximum. Next picture displays the laser penetration width changes. The width is determined together by the attenuation of the laser by the plasma and the effect of the airflow on the molten pool. When the blowing angle is zero, the width is the smallest. As the angle increases, the width increases. And when the angle is greater than 45, the melt width doesn't change much. Let's see much clearer on each welding result by different angles. The influence of the gas on the shape of the weld is mainly determined by the size of the plasma which will lead to the reached amount of the power density of the laser on the work surface, on the workpiece. 
from the cross sections, we can say at zero or 75, the shape of the weld is tends to be in the thermal conduction welding mode. At 30 and 45, there is an obvious deep penetration welding. The conclusion drawn from the above experiments is that under the same welding process parameters, if a larger penetration depth is required, the recommended gas blowing angle is 30. If we need the width is larger, it's recommended to use a blowing angle of 0 or 75. If you need me to do test, no matter it's laser cutting, laser marking, or laser welding, please feel free to write to me. My contact information is over here, or you can also find my contact in the description below. Both WhatsApp and mail are super fine. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.